So this is the Tamiya Avante Black Special. Okay, uh, this is a sort of upgraded version of a 2011 re-release of the original Tamiya Avante. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably know what the Avante is. Uh, but in case you don't, uh, the Avante was originally released in 1988 as Tamiya's attempts to become competitive once again in uh, four-wheel drive off-road buggy racing. And uh, although the chassis itself was beautiful from a technical perspective and, and it had a lot of interesting features to it, uh, it was ultimately a sales flop, uh, but it still remained an important part of Tamiya's history. Uh, so, you know, original Avantes and, and spinoffs from that, like the Egress, they, they go for a lot of money uh, uh, as, as collector's items. And a friend of mine at work actually has an original Avante, and, and uh, he told me, you know, in, in the 90s when he was a teenager, he, he would beat the crap out of his, and he modified it a million times over. Um, but this one I want to build box stock with the exception of the crappy electronics it comes with. Um, and just, just sort of to try to honor the original design. Uh, uh, the black special, I just got this in the mail a couple days ago. Um, I saw maybe well, a few weeks ago that this was going to be released. And I really like the fact that it's got you know, these nice looking sort of red or pink rims and, and the, you know, the, the smoke paint scheme, it, it looks really cool. It's just very different from the, the metallic blue paint scheme of the uh, original Avante. So I wanted to try this out. Uh, couldn't wait to get it. So I, I basically ordered it from Hong Kong. Um, I ordered it from Stella Models. Uh, RC Mart also had it at the time. Uh, on I looked at their website on a Sunday and they had 10 in stock for $420. And then a couple days later, they had six in stock. They bumped up the price to four forty or four fifty dollars, and then by the end of the week, they were completely sold out. So it is expensive, but I I luckily am able to afford it, and I wanted to make sure that I get my hands on one before you know they completely sell out and and, and run off the shelves. Um, but having spent that kind of money, I don't just want to keep this on the shelf. So I want to build this and and you know uh, actually get some use out of it. So I'll just do a simple unboxing now, and, and over time, uh, I'll hopefully do a couple of videos throughout the build process so that those who are not fortunate enough to get one of these things can at least see what it's like to build it. So let me try to rip the box off here. Hold on a second. I'm going to put the phone down. There we go. Okay. So, it's got the blister packs, it's got its own special manual, I mean, it's the exact same chassis as the Avante 2011, but because it's got a different body and different wheels, I guess Tamiya wanted to make their own little custom manual for it, but, you know, nice and pretty, uh, you know, aluminum shocks and everything. It's a shame that they're not threaded, but again, this is, you know, more of honoring the original design, I suppose, for the Avante. Uh, clear body, it's got black rims, I think there are pink rims in here somewhere, uh, graphite shock towers, this motor I'm probably not going to use, uh, I'm going to, I ripped the uh, Novak Super Sport out of my Tamiya F201, so I'm just going to throw that in here, because um, I'll be more likely to use this in the F201, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I look forward to building it. It's got some really interesting uh, features. Um, you know, I'll just show you some of the instruction pages here. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I noticed as I was flipping through this is this bit right here. I'm not sure what's going on. I guess this little pin that you use to mount this gear you got to cover it with some tape before you finish building the whole thing. I'm not, that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, I guess, you know, that's what they want. Uh, this chassis does come with two um, option parts. One is the, the racing uh, bell crank steering set. 
Uh, I am hoping that the purpose of that is to reduce steering slop because I do remember seeing some reviews. I think in uh, Extreme RC Cars, they reviewed the Avante 2011 and they talked about how it has a lot of steering slop. So maybe the racing steering set will address that. Um, I certainly hope so. And the other one is the uh, uh, torque splitter. Um, and what they mean by torque splitter, if, if you look closer at the design, is basically a slipper clutch, but instead of having slipper pads, it's a ball diff. A ball diff with springs on either end, I think, and you just you know adjust how much that ball diff uh, slips by. Uh, kind of a weird design for a slipper clutch, but you know this is to me what we're talking about here. Um, one thing that I remember reading about in this chassis was how the front suspension is designed in a way that it can sort of absorb front impacts. And I looked at it, and it's kind of interesting. Basically, this is that component that allows you to the front suspension to sort of deform a little bit to absorb those impacts. So you got these hinge pins here that this rocker arm rotates on. This is that rubber sort of cushion that these rocker arms mount into. And then on this bit here is where a link or one of the front suspension arm links mounts to. So if the wheel gets pushed back, this will rock backwards, okay? And this will dampen that motion. And that's how the front suspension can sort of move around to absorb some of uh, the impact that you might get if you get into a crash. So that's kind of neat. I did order from, uh, I think it was hexscrews.com, a the uh, hex screw set for this because the standard Phillips head screws are garbage. Uh, you know, if I want to build this thing to last, I don't want to put Phillips screws on it. So that screw set was like 30 bucks, you know, not that expensive. Um, but I, I do look forward to building this and, you know, making it look nice and pretty. So that's it for now.